Hey, what is going on, good people? My name is J93, and welcome back to another tutorial video. Where yes, today I'm going to be taking a look at a Nerf, a Nerf gun. Yes, as you see, it's from the Modulus line. We're taking a look at the Modulus Mediator. Now, uh, yes, with the Modulus line, you do have the ability to add on and add stuff to make many different combinations. Now, obviously, obviously it's not to say any other line is different from that. But yeah, you, this one has it purposely designed so you can add more thing goes onto it and make it make your blaster look cooler and possibly just kind of I don't think fear factor but if you're in a nerf war and you have a modulus and you have all these certain happening yeah it, it, you can make it look better so yeah now obviously the mediator it's a it's a pump action gun or blaster yeah now just take a look at the look you see it says mediator right here obviously it's backwards it really looks like a different word here, but yeah, you do the access door, it won't open unless well, unless you have a magazine in there. Yeah, I don't know why it doesn't do that, but yeah, yeah, come around here, it says Nerf, and then you have Modulus here. So yeah. And now, obviously, the grip is pretty, uh, pretty large, large enough for adult hands. And uh, I don't know if you can say this, but yeah, the texture. Is different from other Nerf blasters because well, it's actually rough, so it kind of actually has has a good grip. You know, I just cocked it. Yeah. But yeah, to how uh, you pull it back, you pull it forward, fire. Yeah, you can also do slam fire. You can hold and you can hold trigger and just pump this thing back and forth. So uh, yeah, now obviously, yeah, obviously now when you get this get this blaster out of action. This dash main body of the gun is, or blaster, I don't know, I keep bouncing it back and forth. Blaster is separate from the actual magazine shoot. And I'm going to show you, this one is like the magazine release. Now when this push all the way back, you can push this and release the magazine. And obviously now the magazine comes, it's a six round magazine. Now perfectly done because this, it really isn't. This blaster really isn't isn't supposed to be for a primary use for as a primary weapon. Obviously, it's more like a scout one for a, maybe an ump five or an MP five. Kind of, actually, kind of looks more like an ump ump five. If all you firearms guys know know what I'm talking about, but uh, yeah. Now the actual loader thing, you have to hold the handle back, and it's really loud. So uh, yeah, it really isn't used. For stealth, but yeah. Now, when you put in the darts, obviously it comes with the modular white modulus darts. Obviously, it's cross compatible with Nerf Elite darts and also Zombie Strike darts. I don't know why you can put a Zombie Strike dart in this, but yeah, the cross compatible. Also, Doomland darts. I, don't know, I haven't seen Doomland, Doomland series of blasters and retails, but uh, yeah, six round. Now, you just put them in, but you have to make sure. The dark head is following the same way as the actual imprint here. So you know when you put this in, it is loaded. And also, if, if if you want, if you want to have the action sword, you just pull it back and you can wiggle around. And uh, yeah, I fired this this blaster quite a few times. I have yet to actually have a jam. But uh, yeah, now for the load, load for it, and you're ready to fire. Now before I actually fired this off in my room. Now, to show you the actual rails, now you do have a rail thing for your, maybe your tack light because obviously you don't want to be holding this, holding it like this. Because it kind of defeats the whole purpose of the prime thing. Now, maybe you're left handed, yeah, you probably do this, but uh, I'm never, I'm never going left handed people, but uh, yeah. Also, well, I mean, it also fits like maybe a, like a stability grip. So, uh, I don't, I don't know why you want to have a stability grip like this, but uh, yeah, maybe if you're that, yeah, but kind of if you're holding like this, you really can't fire because that holds. So I think, but yeah, this area is for like a modulus addition, so you can add stuff and all that. But yeah, you do have an, another barrel extension now. If you want to attach them, I don't know why, but uh, if you want to attach. Yeah, but barrels really don't have any. any add any difference to the actual dart firing distance or the dart speed through the air. Yeah, I don't have any 
like, like barrels with within me, within reach of me. So uh, yeah, I really can't show you off that. But uh, yeah, you, you do have the stock, but you, th this is the retaliated stock. And you do want to also put it back here. Wow, it kind of really looks, looks like an ump. Uh, but yeah, you can kind of walk around kind of like a spit or I have seen uh, some police officers with here in America and overseas use a gun with a kind of like a ump or an MP5 uh, gun like with the stock on but uh yeah kind of like for a scalping it's a small gun I, I don't know I, I haven't actually seen it fire but uh yeah another thing you have the top reel if you have a scope you could also put this in with a scope I don't know why you would have so it is because you do have an, an eye tinted iron sight raise of iron sight now if you put your face up on this yeah kind of line if kind of holds a lining up but uh really I mean this is almost like a sidearm thing but it's not really a sidearm up isn't a sidearm an mp5 isn't a sidearm it's more like a scout like a scouting officer would have this but uh yeah I wouldn't specifically put it put the scope on. I mean, yeah, it kind of looks cool because obviously this is the modulus line. You do have the coordinate color patterns. Now I have seen the scope in a different color color paint, but yeah, it's still the same, same scope. Uh, obviously the scope doesn't actually help you zoom in or didn't see any better. But yeah, now obviously this is a lot tighter. and tighter, tighter grip on the actual scope itself. But yeah, now I actually find it off my room. It, obviously you can pump the fire. I was a lot louder than I expected. Yeah, I just fired tw twice in my room. But uh, yeah, now obviously it all depends on how you hold it. If you're aiming up, obviously gravity is in effect. Obviously there's a foam dart so they're, so they're not designed to fire like this object gravity affects just about everything. Not every single round that you fire. But uh, yeah. Obviously, yeah. This, what would I re recommend you getting a pump action one first? Yes, but uh, I actually started off on the disruptor. So yeah, up here. But uh, yeah, you can hold this with two hands. So yeah. So this will be okay in our nerf battle. Uh, usability wise, not really good. But uh, yeah, because it's a short round clip, but uh, yeah, if you're holding like this and you have a 12 round clip, that you kind of, like, a 12 round, it will be bigger, like, kind of like this, so yeah, you can't, you can't really hold it against your body, like, like some 12 round ones, like the actual bigger guns, it, it's down here, and I would have, I honestly expect it either to be up here, which kind of looks like, not really looks like a regular blaster, but uh, yeah. They have like an ump, it's fed from the bottom. Like you put a clip here. Obviously, I don't think clip is a magazine, but yeah. Obviously magazine is spring, is spring fed. So uh, yeah, so you know how to take it out, load it, all that, which is what I really like about magazine fed blasters here on the pod, reload, ready, and then fire. This one you just, you know, firing it six times, you put it forward. Bam, bam, pull it back, fire it six times. So we, yeah. Now, hang up before I actually, again. Now, it can still go and do that, even with all the magazine in it. So, uh, yes. Now, obviously, this, now for the price of $19.99, I don't think it's $19.99, but, uh, yeah, hold on. Yeah, just, yeah, I know, I know you guys want to see, yes, I did get it from Target. And uh, yes, yeah, now for the price of $19.99, I feel that this, that this blaster is slightly uh, overpriced. I mean, considering the fact that, obviously, it doesn't come with anything. I mean, it doesn't come with a stock. So, uh, yeah, it just comes with this in a, in a barrel, in a... A magazine clip, 
magazine clip, magazine. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep bouncing around. But uh, yeah, I'll see with the modulus, I guess, for the add rail space and all that stuff. I mean, this is the same thing as, as my first Nerf review as the Outbreaker bow. It's the same price as Outbreaker bow now. Before maybe fifteen dollars, I guess that would seem reasonable. But yeah, I'll see prices are going up. So uh, yeah. Place where these nerf, nerf blasters are going up, so yeah, reasonably, yes, this, this will probably be used as if you're playing a scout, but yeah, if you're right handed, yeah, this will not be good to add a sidearm because putting against your leg is kind of like you do the magazine well, kind of hitting you, but yeah, if you're left handed and you're scout, yeah, works just fine because the magazine was is on the outside of your body. But yeah, I'm right handed, so I hold like this. So yeah. And so yeah. Or I should probably put on my back. Like that. I don't I don't really see much so many nerf like body gear. It has a cap has a compatibility of putting blast on the back because that's kind of different. So yeah, that's my wrap up for my review on this. If you if you like this review, basically please be sure to hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you're new. And uh, yes, if you want to see any more nerf views, please do hit, please do tell me down below. And uh, basically, just from just say wait, please or just say I want more nerf reviews. And uh, yeah, and like three. Thank you guys so much for watching. And fire butt.